very special shelf. There are spoken, spoken which I treasure very much, Gimovas which belonged to Jews in Poland. Many of them, the names and the addresses are still there. These were spoken that survived the Shoah, although their owners, their owners had probably learned that the Yoimi in those spoken. They did not survive, their spoken did. And every time I take down one of those spoken from Ruth Tamidu, I'm reminded of the words of that great martyr, Kadashem Shemayim, the Bhanir Ben Tradyan, who because he defied the Roman ban on teaching Taylor Barabin, was sentenced to death, Sefer Taylor rapped about him, and was burned alive together with the Sefer Taylor. When his Talmudim asked him, what does he see at this great moment of Kiddush Hashem? And he said those immortal words, Tevilim Nisafim, the Yosiyos Pochos Ba'avir. The parchment of the Sefer Torah is burning. But I see the letters of the Torah floating in the air. Romans could not destroy the letters of the Torah. And neither could the Nazis, Yimach Shimon B'Sichon, destroy the Torah of those Jews of Poland, the Torah of Claudius. And those words of Torah float through the air. They have floated from Abhanir ben through <coughs> pogroms and inquisitions and Auschwitz. And they have arrived safely here tonight for us to celebrate Am Yisrael Chai and the Torah Chai. In those Yehovahs, in one of them, Sechni Yehovahs, there are two stories that are told towards the end of the Masechah. One of them